UF has had cancer research basically forever, but it's been dispersed across a variety of departments, concentrations. And so the reason for creating a cancer biology concentration was because we wanted a focused effort in graduate education in cancer biology. It's a concentration that has both basic scientists and physician scientists because we have membership in both basic science departments and clinical departments. In the field of cancer, that's of course a really important aspect of it. Graduate students coming in to do cancer biology training have the opportunity to train all the way from very basic mechanisms of cancer to uh, management of cancer patient treatment. And that's, uh, I think, one of the most appealing aspects of our program. Looking at you know, the cancer biology program is actually what caught my interest at UF. I knew I wanted to be in a program that was tailored towards cancer biology and I knew that I wanted to be in a program that allowed me to pursue my research wherever my research took me and not where I was kind of confined by, you know, certain departments. You know, some of the sort of hot topics at the moment are immunology related to cancer, the importance of metastatic disease, uh, but new drug development, uh, mechanisms of drug response, treatment response, uh, interest in uh, disparities of what role does uh, d do different cultures or different um, minorities play in terms of outcomes of, of cancer treatments or incidents of cancer as a matter of fact. So there's just a tremendous uh, range of possibilities. So f a student may come in, uh, be interested in molecular biology in cancer. The student may come in and be interested in translational aspects. What, what can we take from the laboratory into the clinic? Or a student may be very clinically oriented saying, hey, I'm interested in studying cancer risk and what happens in those settings. And all of those are available. And that's probably, in my opinion, one of the greatest strengths of this concentration. I looked at both the evolution of the immune system around these tumors and how the you know, immune system is able to allow these tumors to grow. And I also explore using a oncolytic virotherapy, which is a virus that's selective for the cancer cells while you know, not affecting the normal cells as a potential therapeutic for small cell lung cancer. Well, some people get into this field because they've had personal experience with cancer. Others get interested in it because they read all the fancy stuff that's happening in cancer research. But we, I think we really provide an opportunity uh, to just about everything that's related to cancer research. It's just important to realize how tightly integrated our program is with the hospital and with the cancer center. And, you know, because we're that, you know, we're actually even as students part of the Cancer Center as members of the Cancer Center. So it's not just, you know, the hospitals next door. So there might be someone over there that we know. We're actually, you know, working in going to the same seminars and listening to the same things that a lot of these other people are working with. So it really facilitates us being able to make those, con you know, connections for collaborations, even if they don't exist yet.